Hey guys, LT Cheesy and I am back and wow it's been a while since I last uploaded a video and on this video I'm not really going to do a lot of explaining on that, in fact I might just keep that for another video. So what I wanted to do for this video is just focus on what the title is and just keep it simple, it's a house tour. Uh, I've been meaning to show you guys this and I'm planning on uploading again simply because it's winter time and I won't be leaving the house as much because that's pretty much why I haven't I been uploading because I haven't been home a lot and my schedule is always so busy like in life so now that winter's here I'm gonna be home a lot more often so I have more time to play video games and start recording again in the YouTube channel so it's kind of the reason why I started the channel back in uh, last winter was because it was cold and there really wasn't anything to do but yeah, um, today's going to be an A-frame house that we're going to be looking at, and this one I just recently built. And this one right here is not the house, so I already did a video on this house. If you guys want to check that out, it's in my channel. But that was a previous A-frame house, and over here is a new one. Now, I'm just going to do a quick fly around from the outside and explain it. So, the blocks I used were acacia and dark oak, a little bit with uh, cyan stained clay. On the default, it looks great. So if it wasn't that, I would have just used like a stone block or some sort of gray stone. And yeah, so the pool is really cool. I'll get that until the end of the video. But let's begin. Now the driveway, I added these um, things that have a mechanical system. I'll show that later in the video. And so far we only have one comment that was left there. But yeah, let's just uh, look around. Uh, the landscaping, I did... Um, I didn't really put a lot of work into the landscaping, which is really simple. So walking in, you have this like, I don't know how to explain it, but it connects to the backyard and it has a bedroom separate from the house. It's kind of like, an, like a guest house, but it just it only has a bedroom, but it's still connected into the house. And that's a table design that uh, Carmelo taught me a while back. So that's that. But next we're gonna be looking into the main interior. So. Just do a little quick show of what to what to expect right now. I don't know why I added that. Uh, I just thought it would be cool to edit something like that. But right here, like bamboo, which is supposed to be like the sugar cane, which is why I added that. And right here, there seems to be a mistake. Just let me fix that real quick. There we go. There's always just to be like broken pieces to my houses sometimes. I don't know how to get there. But if you guys look at the wall, notice how I left those odd. Uh, like I don't know, they look like shelves, but they look like uh, like designs. You guys could use. Uh, I use stack snow. Um, it's really really small. The house from the outside it looks bigger, but oh well. Now, when I got done building the house, I used banners and I only used I think about four of them. And right here I use them on speakers, like hanging speakers next to the TV. And just look at that, how it looks into the second floor. Now, Hero Brian has been found again on Xbox, and he's right there if you guys want proof. Now, the sink was really easy to make. I just used snow materials for the whole thing right there, and the furnace, uh, the refrigerator. If you guys just want to take some ideas, it's been a while since I played Minecraft, so hopefully I'll still be good. This house I've been in interior decorating in the meanwhile, something that kept me busy. But really, it hasn't been anything else built. In the second floor, we have a bar with three chandeliers, something quick. I just threw in the house because I didn't know what to add. As well as a fireplace that I've added on, on the second level. Be besides the bottom fireplace, I added an upper fireplace right here with two chairs. And on the second floor right behind me right now is where I put like a grill. Instead of putting it on the first floor of the patio, I put it down there, right now I'll show that right here. And there's a few chairs I put up here, so it's kind of like an eating area, part of the house, that outlooks into the pool. As well as, a, uh, I think it was a master bedroom right here. Yeah, it was a master bedroom. So th the buttons are supposed to be shoes that are on the floor. And this right here is a uh, lamp design. I sh think I showed it in one of my previous houses. 
What is this? It's an armor stand. It uses a piston, and with that piston, I push it down there. And that's a bookshelf design with upside down stairs on a, on the wall. That's how I did those. But if we we're already gonna jump down here into the dining room balcony and go into the basement next. For the basement, I added this little tree inside. Uh, if you guys want to do that, I think it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a uh, little garden that's down there. Uh, so in the basement, is going to be like this bedroom, an office, and a bathroom, and that's going to be about it. But for this, uh, what do you call it? For this bedroom, what I did is I used oak for the, the head part of the bed. So if you guys want to do that for yourselves, here's just the walk-in closet with the Yeezys right there on the floor. <laughs> but we're just going to go into the study next or the office where all the bookshelves are. And this is really pretty bland, but and you guys get the point. So if you guys ever want to do a modern interior, you guys could just copy this and just get some ideas. Now, the bathroom was my favorite room because I did spend more more of my time on it. And I used the new block. I don't know what it's called, but I think it's like endstone brick. And I did use banners for towels, just plain white banners. So this is a shower. It's pretty big and has its own bathtub on the side. And then it has a special toilet with two pillars on the side just to make it look glory and amazing. There's somebody using the toilet right now. The sink was pretty big. But yeah, this is supposed to be like a towel hanging thing for the banner. So if you guys want to do that, but oh yeah, and this right here, driveway gate, that's what activates the driveway. I'll try to fly out there right now so I can show you guys what it does. I think they probably pushed it. Yeah, they, it's supposed to be down, but... I'm guessing some, somebody down there must have pushed it on my way up. So let's move into the backyard. So I'm just going to cut through this. And yeah, um, back here, I didn't really put a lot. I just put the, the simple tree, a chair with an umbrella. That's supposed to be like a folded umbrella. That right there is going to be, a, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a little walkway with like two couches. And it has like a little sunroof with like, holes on the top you know something i just got inspiration something out of modern but i like it if you guys want to use that and right here is just the big pool and i've made its own little waterfall out of rocks and i give the house an outer fencing out of snow sheets if you guys have seen that and the pool does have lights i was planning on making of uh, making the lights in the pool working with the red sump but i never really had time so this is going to be an aerial shot from the house up here but that's going to be it pretty much. So sorry guys uh, that I haven't really been. It's been a while, but I am planning on coming back now that I do have more time. Just that my summer was really busy. So that house I already toured before. You guys want to check that one out as well. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Until next time, peace out.